What's going on? It's your boy Beta Existence, and I am back to do another video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to be talking about are all beard oils created equal? Okay, so the main reason why I wanted to get this video out is because you have a lot of people new to the beard journey. They just start growing their beard. They go out and they purchase a beard oil. That beard oil does not work for them. And because that first initial beard oil they tried doesn't work for them, they believe that beard oil is simply no good and they don't try any other beard oils. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all brothers about why there's so many differences in beard oils and the qualities and why I do not believe that all beard oils are created equal. All right, so there are a lot of different factors that come into play as to the qualities of beard oil. I'm gonna address a couple of them. Um, if I address them all, this video will be far too long. So we're gonna start off with simply talking about storage. Okay, so most of the companies you know that sell beard oils or that create uh, their beard oil formulas to sell to you are people who really take pride in the products that they produce, all right? And when I say that, it, I mean that um, they come up with their special formulas and they make sure that they store their beard oils at certain temperatures. They make sure they put them in amber or dark bottles so that the beard oils are not affected uh, by heavy light or sunlight. And they want to make sure that you get a superior product that you get a product that works uh, good for you uh, that they can stand behind one of the other things you have to look at when we're talking about this process is where did they get their products from before they started making it so for example did the distributor take as much care uh, with handling the oils as they did so were those oils sitting in a hot truck going across the country were those oils in a light or clear co colored bottle in heavy light or heavy sunlight before it got to uh, the company that creates and takes the time to create uh, different beard oils. So those simple things before it even got to your favorite company could affect uh, the quality of that particular beard oil uh, that you have. The second thing we're going to talk about is the quality of ingredients. There are varying qualities to the ingredients that are in a beard oil. Do not believe that avocado oil is avocado oil or almond oil is almond oil or grapeseed oil is grapeseed oil and they're all created equal. There's a lot of things that go into play as to what makes that avocado oil um, or other oils or different essential oils a quality oil. How is it extracted from its natural source? Okay, uh, what type of soil was that natural, was that product grown in uh, before it was extracted? Uh, was the soil uh, healthy and rich in minerals and vitamins? And was that soil a healthy soil? How was it watered? What kind of water was used in taking care of that crop? All right, uh, what type of pesticides were used um, on that crop? Okay, so if we're talking vegetables or fruits, you all know you may have one avocado um, and another avocado, they're exactly the same avocado, came from different places. One may taste way better and be higher and richer in vitamins and nutrients than the other, based on all of some of those factors that I talked about. Same thing with apples, oranges, grapefruits, whatever. Um, so how that uh, product was sourced, where it was sourced from, how it was taken care of, sometimes even the altitude that it was grown at can have an impact on how rich um, that product is going to be and that's going to have an effect on how it nourishes or takes care of your beard. The third thing I'm going to discuss is the actual formulas. So the way different um, carrier oils and essential oils or fragrance oils are mixed together to create uh, that oil, that blend, uh, could have an impact on the oil. Um, some oils when mixed together and some of the essential oils when mixed together can change uh, the way that oil uh, impacts your beard or change the way that oil um, works for you. So I've mixed different essential oils, even if I have a carrier oil base with um, some of my favorite formulas and depending on what kind of essential oils I add to it, it can really change the consistency. It can thin out the my oil base and it can do a lot of different things and that may have an impact on um, how that oil works for any particular person depending on how much uh, they need or what they're looking to get from that oil. So this video wasn't so that I can get too technical, I just knew that if I didn't give you guys some of the reasons behind why I felt the way I do about um, different 
different ingredients that go into their beard oils and how those qualities um, can can be so different that you wouldn't understand the point I was trying to get across to y'all brothers. So if you haven't found a beard oil you like, just because it works for me or works for the next man doesn't mean you're gonna like it. So keep keep giving it a shot until you find one that works for you. All right, it's your brother Beard of Existence. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, do me a favor, tap the subscribe button, tap the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. And your boy Beard of Existence will be back at y'all again soon. Peace.